The government wants companies with over 250 employees to come clean. It's introduced a bill that would force businesses to publish their pay rates. But business leaders say the new regulations would delay economic recovery. Our home editor, Mark Easton, has the details. Is the new equality bill a vital fight for equal rights or unnecessary red tape for businesses already struggling to survive the recession? The economies for the future that are going to prosper are those that actually allow everybody to compete on equal terms in the workforce and which don't have a sense of uh, women knowing their place. The clear message from business is, you know, get off our back. We believe there should be a moratorium on employment legislation for three years. Let business get on with the job of which it's there to do, create wealth and create jobs. It's already illegal for an employer not to give women equal pay with men in jobs of the same value. In many local councils, including Leeds, this has led to tens of thousands of women demanding a rise and back pay, costing council taxpayers an estimated two and a half billion pounds so far. How are you, Peter? I'm all right, love. I'm Sue all right. Townend discovered she was one of many female home carers being paid seven thousand pounds a year less than male counterparts working on the bins. The result? Angry bin men were told their pay would be cut as hundreds of women received thousands in compensation. Were we not worth the bonus, you know, if that's what, you know, the men were worth? Why were we not being paid it, considering the, the job that we do do? We are on strike, all of us, all the machinists anyway. It's 40 years since women on the Ford's production line at Dagenham went on strike for equal pay, bringing about the first legislation in 1970. But the issue hasn't gone away. Equal pay cases have now overtaken unfair dismissal claims, and the government believes even more should be done to give women greater protection against exploitation. Women's average hourly pay is still 23% less than men's, a situation the government regards as unacceptable. So, larger employers may be forced to publish the gender pay gap in their organisation to try and encourage more equality in the workplace. But some argue there will always be a gap because men and women have different priorities in life. The men are the ones that tend to thrust ahead with their careers on average. The women are the ones who, who have breaks to have their children. And then, of course, average men's earnings pull ahead of average women's earnings. Some cabinet anxieties about new employment regulation in a recession means nothing will happen before 2013. Mark Easton, BBC News.